Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to VO Essentials. We have some breaking news with a new Meta Quest 3 version 59 coming very soon now. For me, it's almost three o'clock. It's more than three o'clock in the morning here in Singapore, but I just got the news. I had to make this video to make sure that you get the lowdown before anyone else does. So let's go and read more about this as to what's going on. Let me just switch on my OBS so that we can see everything. Is it recording? Yes, it is all good. So week of 24th of October, 2023, MetaBuild 59.0 release notes. What's coming out? Let's find out together, everybody. So these features and enhancements will gradually become available starting the week of 24th, 2023, and we will be pushed to the MetaQuest 3, MetaQuest Pro, and MetaQuest 2 headsets. By the way, what are some of the new updates that you wish are coming out? For me personally, I want to stop seeing all these people complaining about the Oculus Link cable not working with the Quest 3. Go and check out that video in the link description below about that because obviously it is something that needs to be fixed. All right, let's find out a little bit more. Suggested boundary Quest 3 only. Suggested boundary makes it easy to jump right into your apps on MetaQuest 3. Your device, let me just make it a little bit bigger so you can see. Your device will suggest a boundary for you based on the free space around you. You can edit the suggested boundary before accepting it. You can always draw your own boundary if you like or use a stationary boundary instead. What do you guys think? Meh. I know. I'm not quite sure about this. By the way, this video is sponsored by VR-Wave.Store who are providing a 5% discount, everybody, to anyone who needs lens prescription adapters. They do it, of course, for the MetaQuest 2, the MetaQuest Pro, Pico series, and soon the MetaQuest 3. So you can actually pre-order from the website. They said that they will be releasing these by the end of this month or next month. So. That will be all good. All right, back to today's story. Suggested boundary will run anytime you launch, you launch an app and a boundary isn't available in your space. You can also access a boundary from physical space in settings. I just hope that this suggested boundary thing is something, of course, that we can definitely switch off. Uh, that is definitely optional because I'm just afraid that the boundary will start to come on and when you don't want it to come on and, you know, all these kind of different issues that can occur with boundary setting. So let's see what happens about this. Do leave some comments below about it. Assisted space setup. Spaces allow games to interact with your environment, enabling virtual content to collide with or hide behind real world objects or furniture. Mm, that's quite interesting. With assisted space setup, your device can run a quick 3D scan of your environment, creating a simple representation of the surface in your room, including walls, tables, and other furniture, so you won't have to manually add them into your space. This seems like some AI stuff. I don't know, how do you feel about your camera really knowing what's going on in your space, guys? Do leave some comments below. Let me know if you think if this is a bit of a privacy issue, or do you think this will really add something of value into your experience with the Meta Quest 3. Love to hear your thoughts. Be part of the narrative, guys, and leave your comments below. Assisted space setup will run automatically when you launch an app that uses mixed reality, or you can access space setup from physical space in settings. So again, I hope that this doesn't make, you know, the Quest 3 float around, lose tracking, or, you know, come up at any point or, or create issues in the game. I just hope it's something that could be optional and not forced upon us. This is just, you know, my, my two cents worth. Battery saver. Oh my God, guys, finally battery savers. A lot of people have been complaining about the battery only lasting about one hour and a half on the most intensive of games. For example, Beat Saber or Synth Riders for that matter. So yeah, has your battery been draining really, really fast? Do leave a comment below about this. Very, very interesting uh, to hear more about what they, what they have to say. We're adding an optional setting that will let you improve battery life on your device by lowering the graphics settings. You can find battery saver on a power in system settings. However, I thought this was already there, to be honest with you. I mean, it's it's there for me, to be honest with you. So, I don't know, it's been there since the day I bought it. You can actually lower the graphic settings of the Quest. I haven't tried it yet, though. Uh, but, you know, we did do a, a, a video about how to save the most amount of batteries on your Quest 2 to make it run as long as possible. So do go and check out that video. Link in the description below, just in case you need to 
find it. Activities in tab in people panel. Activities tab in people panel. Okay, you can navigate to a new to a new activities tab in the people panel. This tab displays relevant activities that group members are currently engaged in along with active core and app invites you can use to join people and play together. So again, we did a video all about how to you know, disable or enable your privacy settings and be a master of your privacy settings. This to me sounds like it's something that you would need to enable in order for people to know where you are, what you're doing. So again, if you don't want to know what you're doing and you want it to be a bit more private, then I hope that this is something we can disable. Um, again, guys, leave some comments below. I'd love to get your thoughts. And by the way, this video is co-sponsored by Zyber VR, who also provide accessories for the Meta Quest 3, like Elite Straps. And at the end, they are really, at the end of the month, excuse me, uh, I think next month, they're releasing a Elite Strap with the battery pack at the back. So do go and check them out. They have all types of different things. 15% discount using the promo code VR Essentials, the same promo code as you would use for VR-Wave.store, the lens prescription adapters. Although Zyber also do sell them, but I haven't tested their uh, accessories, just FYI. So if you are a DJ and you want to take a chance, do go ahead and you know order their products and enjoy the promo code 15 percent discount using vr essentials link in the description below so you have to click that in order to enjoy the promo code as well chat improvements <clears throat> excuse me you can now add reactions to messages send images and use avatar stickers to express yourself in chat in vr on the meta quest mobile app very interesting so the motor so the quest app is now becoming more like a messenger is it is that what's going on is that what's happening? I don't know, it sounds very, very interesting. Hand tracking improvements in mixed reality. We're making improvements to the way your hands appear while using pass-through, making it more comfortable to interact with panels and apps while in mixed reality. It's very true, it's very hard to know how to exit a game when you're in hand tracking, unless it's got the option to exit. It is quite hard to know that. Uh, but more importantly, it would be great to have some, some news about the mixed reality pass-through update as to whether it's actually been improved because a lot of people are complaining about this, how it's warping when you put your hands in and the controllers in, especially on the sides, it warps a lot. So it'd be great to know if there's something. Are you guys hyped about this specific improvement or not? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Swipe to dismiss notifications. You can now use a swipe gesture to dismiss notifications. This sounds very much like Apple. Swipe here, left, right, swipe, swipe. A bit like Tinder. Swipe, swipe, swipe. This seems to me like it's more getting us used to using our hands to do things uh, as opposed to a real cutting edge uh, change. But and again, you know, something there. Avatar legs. Your avatar will now have legs when you're in Horizon Home. Now, personally, I don't have Horizon. I think it's only in America, if I'm not wrong, in Canada, maybe. Let me know if you're in Europe or in Asia and you have Horizon in the comments below. I'd love to know. But apparently some people who lie down, who are not in Horizon, um, and can see their legs, they say that it wobbles a lot inside. So, I don't know. Have you guys have been having any issues with your avatars when you lie down with your Mixed Reality Quest 3 headset on? Let me know in the comments below. First Encounters Shortcut Quest 3 only. We've added a shortcut to First Encounters in your Horizon home. Uh, first Encounters is an easy way to discover what's possible that Mixed Reality on Quest 3. You'll find this available in Desert Terrace, Space Platform, Winter Lodge, and the Quest 3 home environment. Select the spaceship to check it out. All right, fine, great. I haven't tried it, actually. Is it good? I know it's free. Is it good, guys? Bug Report Shortcut. You can now report a bug by pressing the Meta or Oculus five times in a row on your right touch controller. Great, excellent, fantastic. Yes, we definitely want to report bugs because there's so many of them, right? I mean, there's a few of them, not many of them, a few of them. Pass through, Oculus Link cable not working, no, battery live. All right, um, temporarily, set. oh, connecting headset to the VR, to the PC, bug there, it's really annoying as well. Temporarily disabling mobile SW, uh, ASW feature for Link. Due to ongoing issues with temporarily disabling the mobile A, AW, ASW feature for link. What is AWS error something W? I don't know. Why? Guys, let me know what a, a, ASW means, guys. I'm not quite sure what it means. Uh, we're updating parental controls to give the teens and preteens extra support on MetaQuest. 
parents can now access supervision tools in MetaFamily Center directly in the MetaQuest app. The full suite of tools, insights, and resources can now be found under supervision uh, in the MetaQuest mobile app. Now, that's very good. They are good tools, so uh, parents can actually control what apps they can go in, how long they can go in for. So I think that's good that they're taking initiative here because Apple and definitely are going to have to do the same thing. And Pico, I mean, come on, Pico. They have sex things in their library for public to see. I mean, not sex things, but almost. I mean, you know, you got these women dancing. They're pretty much almost naked. And they're like 360 camera thing. I mean, uh, not really something that kids should be should be seeing, to be honest with you. But, uh, you know, I think it's good that Quest are taking the initiative in doing this, as Apple will undoubtedly have to do the same thing as I just mentioned. You'll also soon be able to set daily limits and scheduled breaks for your team to help them manage the use of MetaQuest. These features will be rolling out gradually. Okay, fine. YouTube live chat. Ooh, YouTube live chat tools. That's pretty exciting for Quest. Because mm, YouTube and Meta have always been a bit like this, so it's nice to see them a bit, you know, um, new, new, new Meta, new, new, new Meta YouTube. Whether you're a casual creator or more serious streamer, having easy access to real-time feedback from your community is key to produce more engaging and social live content. With version 59, we're providing content creators with early access to introducing support for YouTube live chat. You can now seamlessly follow and respond to the fans in conversation, even while fully immersed in the latest VR games and experiences. If you're a YouTube creator and would like to try this new feature, please fill out this early access interest form. Yes, please, I will definitely fill up this form. So let's just check out the form very quickly. Um, no, this will not be the right email address, so never mind, I'll have to send a different a different a different email, different form, but there you go. Remote uh, display app. So remote display app already uh, available on MetaQuest Pro will become available on the Quest 3 and Quest 2 over time. This app allows you to display to display excuse me your computer screen within VR. You can find remote display in your app library. So basically this acts like virtual desktop, I would imagine. Like you can control your your you don't need to go in the air link. Is that the whole point? I guess that's what it means. Uh, is that my understanding? Does it work with work well? Excuse me. In Quest Pro, do leave some comments below, everybody. Okay, and then uh, finally but not least, least but not finally, finally but not least, uh, <laughs> software update controls. We're making changes to how you receive updates for MetaQuest 3 software. Automatic updates will be on by default. You'll be notified on your device when a software update is available and can delay the app for up to 30 days. You can still opt in to receive automatic updates for your device. We highly recommend you keep automatic updates on to keep the latest features. Honestly speaking, if it's on by default, I'm not happy with that because it means that the MetaQuest 3 is basically not off. It means that it will be switched on, but maybe 1% of juice or 3% of juice will still be on because how can my device be switched off if they, if Meta can switch it back on again? It makes no friggin' sense to me. This is automatic updates will be on by default. Does it mean that it will be on my Quest 3 by default? And also it means that they can have access to my Quest 3 whenever they want. This to me is a big no-no in terms of privacy. No, I really, really don't feel comfortable about that. Ooh, what do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Love to hear your thoughts. I think that automatic updates, if this is about turning on the quest and it automatically updates while you're sleeping. I don't know, you guys, mm, not a big fan of that, but very disappointed there's nothing about the mixed reality, very disappointed there's nothing about, um, you know, Oculus Air Link, uh, sorry, wireless Oculus Link cable fix, and very disappointed there's nothing about making it easier when you plug in the, the USB-C to the computer to transfer files. Very disappointed about that, but anyway, guys, there you go, there you have it, breaking news on the VR Essentials YouTube channel, very excited. Do hit the like button so more people get to discover today's video and we get to grow the YouTube VR Essentials community together and hit the notification bell for more juicy and up-to-date time-sensitive news videos, of course, in the future. Until next time, guys, take it easy. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see another video very, very soon. Bye for now, guys. Take it easy. Bye for now. Bye-bye.